I think I did it. <laughs> so I'm so happy. Uh, so I'm making a top-down space shooter adventure game where you have to deliver love letters across the solar system, right? So Milky Way mailing ink. Follow Milky Way mailing ink on the next post. I'll put uh, the the handle for the the game profile. But the idea is that since you have to deliver these letters. The main system that I needed to create for this game is a quest system that players can navigate to the goal, right? So they can deliver the letter to the letter recipient. And I think I just did it. So the the thing is that I reused a, a quest system that I had from previous project. This is the, the cool part about subscribing to Solid System. You can create systems that you can reuse across projects. And, well, let me show you. The, the only thing that I needed to do after implementing the quest system, the dialogue system, the letter system, was to make the navigation system so players can deliver the letters to the recipient. And I think I just did that. So since things are very modular here, I can turn anything into a quest and into a goal. So let's say... Well, let's say that I want to make a dialogue here on the Milky Way Mailing Inc. trigger a quest about destroying asteroids, right? So, currently this is the text for this button, but let's change that. So, I'm going to make this unique, make unique, and I'm going to change this to, uh, well, I need you to destroy 20 asteroids. And, well, then the next thing that I need to do is to create a quest, right here, and this is going to be like asteroid 01, and let's say destroy asteroid, <laughs> destroy 20 asteroids. So I don't have the, 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 pen, the quest panel, this is the next thing that I will do, the, the UI. Uh, I have this from the previous project, but in this one I want to make it uh, way cooler because uh, it will have it will display all the available quests that the player currently accepted, and you can select the one that you want to make active. So destroy ten asteroids, and when you click this button, it will trigger this quest. So disconnect, pressed, add quest to quests, add quest. To quest quest is the singleton that I'm using to manage quests. So yeah, it will trigger this method right here. And well, we just created a quest. This is all I have to do to create a quest. Pretty simple, right? And to turn something into a quest goal, I just have to put a quest progress. Where is it? Here. So I just have to put a quest progress. And I need to call the same name of the quest, so the same ID, so where where is this, uh, Milkway Melee Inc, just so I can copy the, the ID because I don't remember the name, and all I have to do is to paste this, and somehow I need to trigger the, the increasing of the progress, right, so I'm going to do this by um, depleted, yeah, this depleted signal to this Quest progress, increase progress, increase progress. And guys, I'm going to benchmark this uh, live. So I didn't test this, but let's see if this works. I'm so, so excited. Well, we have the asteroids here, but they are not quest goals yet. So when I talk to, to the manager, yeah, they become quest code. I need you to destroy 20 asteroids. So if I destroy this asteroid... Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> and basically now I just have to focus on creating content for this game. Well, of course I have to create some... Some... Uh, some UI elements still. To display the, the quest. So let me show you the, the letter. UI. So since anything can become a quest, I think that I will make some enemies drop some letters so players can like uh, drop quests from enemies as well. So this is uh, a quest from Earth and well it probably will trigger a quest as well. 
<laughs> I'm so happy, guys, because from now on I can really start to create and promote this game because this is what I'm, I I was missing. With a quest system, I can start to create videos about delivering letters and start to to feed the YouTube channel of this game. Of course, I have to implement music and sound effects and stuff like this, but it's, this is a big step. This is like the greatest step for this game because as I showed you, anything can become a quest. So let's say, uh, let's say that this quest on Earth will become another quest as well. So um, let's see Earth. Again, I'm going to show... Um, what is it? Okay, this button right here, right? So let's add a quest to it. Quest and this one will be like destroy like uh, saucers so there's one destroy ten saucers well this is going to be displayed for on, on the quest panel available okay uh, saucers uh, earth invasion and let's go to the space part, space part, and add a quest progress to them. Copy, paste, and when they are defeated, health resource depleted, it will trigger increase progress so now we are going to earth well i want to destroy like three at least right so three saucers something that i need to to do is to check for because like saucers appear um appear they spawn around the the players right and i think that on this case i will have to make them trigger the the space the the navigation system when they are they finish spawning so probably let me see there there is a spawn enemy the, the, there is a spawn effect so effect spawn effect right here Spawn completed, quest, add navigation if I'm not mistaken, navigation, yeah, this is the, the thing, so let's see, <laughs> let's see if this is working, we're going to earth, and well, we, I, I, did I, no, I think that I didn't, right, so this on pressed, will trigger the quest so add quest to quests right so now when we interact with that letter and as you saw anything can become a quest so I can basically use interactive areas which I have and let's say that this will communicate to the player that they should defeat some enemies so let's see if the enemies appear yeah <laughs> so look navigation is working on them as well <laughs> and well since everything is like um very modular i think that i will add a radio responder around earth that spawns this space pirate so i think that i have one on player already enemy radio spawner so I'm going to Earth. I'm going to add this right here, and it will be around these radios, and it will spawn. Um, no, ten. Yeah. So it's not going to be a random timer. Delete that. Instead, when we press this button 
it will also trigger the spawn. So let's let's do that. I, I reached that point where making the game is already fun, right? So finally we <laughs> I reached this point where the systems are in place and now it's basically just focus on actually making the game. Yeah, <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice. So that's it. I'm so happy that I managed to do that. Now I can finally focus on actually making the game and not the systems. Guys, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me with my link. It will be if you are watching on YouTube on the description and on the pinned comment. And if you are watching on X, it will be on the first reply to this post. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good week. Keep developing and until the next time. See you there.